the sun is out, it's a beautiful day. And a bit of news about the land. That is where I am now. You've got to beat a bit of corrugated iron, can you? Love it. So this is the land, my new, I don't know, should we call it small holding? Now, my section starts at the fence. Now, it used to have chickens, bee, uh, no, not bees, chickens, turkeys, ducks. But as they've all died off, the guy didn't decide to replace them because he said the cost of feed didn't make it worth it. So it's all the way up to the corrugated iron there. Can we go down here? No, it's a bit blocked. The river's next door. In fact, we might be able to see it, shall we? Let's see if we can all open this gate. Okay, if we go. Oh, a bit careful of the brambles. Go down to the river. Oh, it's nice and cool here. So let's go back in. We have to be careful of these brambles. Let's close that up. Right. See, and there's another shed down here. Now I think this is. Oh, look, and there's a bit of a coal frame there. I think this is the shed that, so all these buildings were used for chickens, but one of them has a solid floor. And I think it's this, it's this one here. So maybe a good location for the shed. So like I said, it goes all the way down to the corrugated iron down here. So there used to be allotments at one point in the distant past. But again, as people have died off. So it's more than enough for me. It's a beautiful size. So say now, for example, I put the shed there. I'll just do a little bit at a time. No, no need to bust a gut. Hopefully I'll be here for years. And then here, come out and have a cup of tea on the side of the river and in the shade of the old mountain. But it's good that I'm, this cold frame is here. That's like a proper old fashioned one. Put a few panes of glass on and it will look very nice. It's like a maze. So this is a, another section that had chickens in. But I'm really pleased that this has come up and presented itself. So the plan is, I will start in a few days. So my initial plan is maybe, like I said, a shed at the bottom, and then maybe a central path with two large beds on each side. I'll be able to grow every single thing that I want. And I have more than enough spare food to give to local charities or something like that. And also somebody has suggested this morning, which I thought was a very good idea, I could possibly look into growing some plants and selling them. Maybe some, I don't know, cosmos and things like that. Maybe some veg plants. 
but just listen to that peace and quiet. But like everything in life, it's not gonna get done quickly. I'll do it very slow and very steady. And as long as I can get a patch done this year to put some runner beans in, a bit of beetroot, maybe even a squash or shark fin melon. Shark fin melon would be very good to uh, suppress the weeds. But it's on the flat and my knees are very grateful for that.
it is actually quite a hot afternoon. As you can see, I've come down to the homestead. I'm going to install one or two of the cameras down here, not necessarily for security, but just out of interest to see what wildlife is down here. And also to try and make a time-lapse video of how the land will change over the coming months and years. This also comes in handy, I find, to just get to know the land and to have a look at it at different times of the day. So if I'm in the house about midnight, I can have a quick look. I can have a look in the morning, sunrise, sunset throughout the day. It just gives an idea of where the, the sun falls. And also, it's more about this time lapse. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a stone that I can stand on. There we go. That's good enough. Like I said, it's only just to monitor the wildlife, really. So then we sign into the account, and it's one of these cameras that it is. So there we have it. That is what it is seeing at the moment. So now I need to change it around. So we get a better view. Oh no, that's the one in the bag. Because <laughs> I've brought two down with me. There it is. So if I just spin that around. See, this is what's good. You can stay in the house and spin the whole thing around. And you can zoom in as well and have a look. So we'll set this up now as a good shot. Something like that. Also, if you wanted to, you can go up as well. So I wanted to see what what the weather was like over the mountain. In fact, there I am there. There you go. So I may just set the one up. I know this grid is in the way. But, you know, it's all a a work in progress. I have no idea where my secateurs are. 
I need to f find them. Ouch, that hurt. I need to find them. They're in one of the London boxes. But I was given this today, which is like a pen knife one, which is okay, but it's not really suitable. Plus I'm doing this into the sunshine. I can't really see anything. I do have gloves before anybody asks. But I haven't got them in my bag. But I've got an idea. Let me take a few of these brambles down and I'll tell you what it is. It involves going down to the river. Yeah, these secateurs are good, but they don't really do hard stems. And these stems have been here for quite a few years. Just want to get down to the riverbed. When I was down here last time, I saw a duck. Right, let me go and get my other camera. I'm not really dressed for doing this. I've been out today. Oh. Here we have it. Yes, put a little handrail here to get down. A lot of people asked, will it get flooded? It hasn't flooded in over a hundred years. So it's probably due. What I want to do is, is to attach the camera to this tree and just see what we can see. There's a good place for it. There, I think. It's nice to hear the sound of the river gently meandering its way down the valley floor. When I was a child, we owned a, an acre of land at the end of our street. And that was close to the river, a bit further down the river from this. Unfortunately, we sold it. And now it's a junkyard. The times were different back then. All right, I'm gonna get myself into a right pickle with this, aren't I? That's why I put the bit of wood on it, to try and make it a bit easier to do. Oh, that's a nice breeze, that is. It is very hot. I don't actually want to complain about it, though. But it is. It's hot. <laughs> and then we'll go back up in the shelter of the shed to look at it. Now I do have a solar panel but the camera is fully charged at the moment and it's only going to be as a temporary measure. 
Just have a quick look. What goes on down by the riverbed? Right, just switch it on. It's already on. That's fine. Right, let's go and get a bit of shelter from this sunshine. I've been having a think over the last few days about the layout. I do believe sometimes that a garden tells you where things are going. But it's good to come now at this time, it's about four, half, four, five, to see where the shadows are. So if the shed goes there, then a bench can go in the front so I can sit here and be out of the direct sunlight. Have some vegetables here, just as a quick crop. But I'm thinking in this corner here, I might put some decorative pine trees. You know, only the ones that grow to about six foot tall. I'm five foot, what, 10, so there, there won't be much, you know, tall. Just three of them there as a backdrop, like a sort of woodland backdrop. I might see if I can take that fence down at the back so I can look out across the river. So yeah, I'm not in, in a rush. But I think just come down, stand, observe. I can already see there are loads of birds go, going into these trees here. Or maybe set up a, a few bird feeders and put one of the cameras on a bird feeder to see what we've got. There's a very nice breeze. Just caressing my brow. 
could you imagine? Cup of tea. Well, quite funny, I was talking to one of the locals and when I had the allotment about a mile or two down the road, after I left it, a guy, let's call him Tom, he took the plot on after I left. And he's died now in the last few months. But I was asking people, who, who had this? And apparently, before the chicken man came here, the guy who had it before and had it for about 10 years was Tom. And I thought, that's strange. When I left, I gave my plot to Tom and now I've come back and he's given me a plot. Right, I'm going out tonight, so I can't bandy around too long. That's going to be one of the issues down here. It's going to be so nice just to relax and while away the hours, the days will go very slow but very quickly if I just sit in my hammock. Can you imagine a hammock there? It's beautiful weather, although I guarantee you now, by the time I bring my, my spades down and my fork, it'll probably start raining. <laughs> Well, apologies for a very short video. Like I said, I've been quite busy over the last few days with other projects that bring in the money. But I will catch up with you in, in a few days. I'm hoping for a clear few days next week, two days next week, where I can actually come down and make a start because I would like to get a row of beans in. And who knows, they might even go there. But anyway, I'll catch up with you next time. So for me until then, Bye for now and enjoy this beautiful weather. Well, I thought I'd call in and have a look at the homestead. I had a text this morning, in fact, from the guy that has it at the moment. And he said he has started to take down the sheds because he wants to keep some of the 
materials. So he's taken this one down and the fence is down. He's going to come back on the weekend and do these last three. So that one will come down along with all the fences. And plus this one, it's quite large this one, and the one in the corner as well. He's going to take them all down. But I've come down just to go and sit by the river, or at least have a look at it. Because it was quite high the, when I looked on the camera the other day. There we have it. It's certainly much lower than it was before. I'm going to have to bring my camera with the zoom lens because across the river there, there looks to be a rhododendron. And I've noticed further down the river they've come into flower. And if I just fly the drone for a moment, you'll be able to see that on the other side of the river, there is a carpet of bluebells, which is nice to see. It'll be nice if I could get some tables and chairs. I did have an email a couple of months ago from somebody offering me their tables and chairs, but I can't find the email in order to respond to them. Because it's so complicated when you have a Facebook page and a Twitter page. I don't know where they sent the message to. But I've put a tables and chairs set into my Amazon wish list and I put stuff in there that I want for the garden so that I don't forget it because sometimes it can take so long to find these things. I put them in there as a sort of holding pen so that when funds are available I can go in and it's already there waiting for me to purchase. But it is nice and quiet down here. So yes, I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and spend this £100 to get this shed moved. And then at least it's done and dusted then. It can be down here by the end of next week. It can be down here by the end of next week. And then I can get on and do the actual garden. Just slow and steady. I'm not going to do it as a big rush job. Otherwise I will make myself ill. And I've been given lots of thought about where the shed should go. There they are. You can just about make out the bluebells on that wood. It's unfortunate that a lot of the trees suffered from a disease a few years ago. So they all look quite dead. And I know the forestry are trying to get them out from the mountain. But the cost of putting a road in in order to get them out won't give them any profit. Apparently the cost of all the profit from this wood would be exactly the same cost as putting in a, a road. You watch now, as soon as I get the garden sorted they'll put a road in and then that's all I'll have is logging and big trucks going up and down the mountain. So I think for the time being I'm just going to put the shed up exactly where this one is and then I can always move it when the time comes if I think it's in the wrong place. Maybe a row of beans. That's all I'm going to do for now. But yes, it'll be nice to come down and all this will be moved. But I, I did say to him there is no rush to do it. But just the sound of the water is just so relaxing. I'm trying to work out this bit here. So I don't know whether this fence is staying or whether he's going to take it with him. I'll come down on the weekend and have a chat to him. 
because as much as I like it for security reasons, it, there is the river there. And to get on the other side, it's a very, it would, well, I think it's impossible to get to. You'd have to cross the river, climb over the mountain. So I'm thinking it could be quite safe to take one or two of these panels down and then I could have my tables and chairs and overlook the water. Well, I just thought I'd call in, have a look at the land on the way home. As you can see, the previous person who had it has taken down one of the sheds and has strimmed.
but it's nice and peaceful here. Be even more glorious if I had a nice cup of tea.